Okay, y'all, uh, short and sweet. I've been gone for a few days, and it's been raining like crazy out here. And, you know, with a lot of other stuff going on, we haven't really been doing much out here. It's kind of getting wild, including in my bed. So, yeah, I already know I put way more squash and cucumber in here than I should have, but I was trying to maximize my growing space. And today I came, I'm going to fix some things because they were four. I just threw that over. I, not threw, I moved it <laughs> as gently as possible out of the dirt because it was raining so much that it started um, coming up out of the dirt. And so I got to do to it the same thing I did to this one. And even this one is leaning a bit, um, but it is secure. Um, but... Today, when I came out to check on um, what was going on out here, I found um, this. Look. Can you see them? Can you see them? Looked up inside there and found that I had a whole bunch of them. Well, you can see them all over. So, I have to come in here and get the beans. And I know the squash is going to be next. And at this point, you see that cucumber flower all the way over here with the squash? They just doing what they do. I also had, look at this. So, I don't know if y'all remember that second bed. I haven't, that haven't even been here for a month. It's done so much better than this. This took forever to start. But I didn't put any food in the dirt when I got started. And so it did take longer. This is a weed that got to come down. And it will. Um, it's been um, cleaned up a little bit around here today. So I'm sure that it'll be gone. Look at the eggplants. The flowers in there anyway. Got a pretty decent amount of them. Especially up at the top. Come over here. Okra is finally rising. But this has been here just a fraction of the time. And look at it already. Although them holes going on over there in the tomato plants, hmm. I have to look that up. Something going on over there. And it's even chimed in over here, even up on some of these peppers. Because this bed is mostly peppers and tomatoes. But like you see my red leaf mustard greens are here. And the sun came out and wilted it, but I'm going to tell you, just a minute ago, when I came out here and looked at it, it was doing really well. Like, they were up and perky and everything. So, I'm going to give them a few more days, and it's going to be raining again today and tomorrow. Um, so, after this weekend, um, I may be coming through and eat some greens next week. Um, then you have more. Or well, you can see some of the beans already started trying to come up on this, but something is tearing these leaves up. So, like I said, the rain, this is where I had stopped. If you look at the road going across, I had stopped so I can continue making more beds. So even the dirt that I threw over there with the grass patches and stuff I was lifting, they done started settling in, but I'm going to turn them up again and get them going and move them over. Um, meanwhile, uh, there's okra in here also. And these, because they started off with the food and everything and the dirt and had more compost in the dirt and um, I put um, more ground and uh, top soil. So in ground soil and then top ground soil added to what the native soil and it just, it did so much better. The takeoff was so much better. Look at this. See, like that tomato plant, it's, it fell over from the rain. I have to fix it. You see the roots. But look, a nasturtium popped up. Nice. So I'm going to come and fix some things. I'm supposed to be stringing up these um, sticks that I got in here so that the stuff has something to grab onto to hold on, you know, lean as it comes along. Uh, but just wanted to give y'all an update on that. And yeah. I still got more I gotta put in. I'm gonna try to save some of those. Because uh, I hate to plant them and then they never get used. But getting the space that I wanted to have for them to go into is not proven to move as fast as I wanted to. Well, 
actually I could do more but so I'm going to take that as a I need to do better anyway something was on my lip um I'm going to I think this is spaghetti squash look how big those leaves are and the other thing is you can't see all the other things that I did up in here because <laughs> these leaves are blocking everything they're blocking everything. I've had a lot of flowers come and go because they keep falling off. But for what it's worth, they can't even be seen, some of these flowers. So how do they get got, you know, for stuff to grow? But look, um, that's the okra. I got to go in and get some of these dead leaves off. That's what I'm going to do today. Let me stop talking, do some of that, then I'll tell you all about it later. Um, and I'll just blend the two so you can look at them instead of having to look at two separate videos. Okay. Okie doke, smokes. So, this is what was harvested today. I just did that. Now, okay, it doesn't look like a lot. And for sure, it's not a whole, whole bunch, but <laughs> I grew this. <laughs> I did this. I grew this. So, let me show you what I can show you while I'm waiting for the power to be turned back on. Um, so, I got some. Whew, I hope I don't squeal in here because I can't see. I should have waited for the light. Um, these are um, some cayenne peppers. I don't know what I'm going to do with those yet. I don't know if I waited too long for this one or if it was supposed to go through this metamorphosis. Okay, whatever. It was turning yellow on the vine. This is what it started out as, and I can, oh goodness, I can smell it too. I don't know how spicy it's going to be, because, you know, but I plan on making some. What I wanted to do with these was cut them up to use to cook, and the other ones, which I've got a couple in here, I will show you. I wanted to make some kind of sauce. I um, believe I can make some pepper spray with one of these, but I'll make some habaneros, um, plant some habaneros for... For that and also um, if I find that these are uh, too spicy then I'm going to turn around and use them in products like the balms and things that I use for pain aches and pains um, so they'll serve a purpose regardless um, how I can use it will depend on how hot it is or how I will use it okay um, one green pepper is small but it didn't look like it was getting any bigger just from sitting there. So I went ahead and took it. Plus, a spider was making a whole house over there. And it was right underneath another one that's trying to grow. So I went ahead and got that one. It was the first one that was coming up. Um, these, of course, are green beans. Look at this. <laughs> Again, it's not, um, it's not a lot, but it's something. And when you do your first one, you're going to feel the same way. So, <laughs> um... Anyway, so I've been thinking about what, how I'm going to do this channel, right? I wanted, when I first started looking into all this stuff and doing all this stuff, that was in 2018 in terms of homesteading, right? That's the December 31st, 2017 is when I had the idea of going small um, and homesteading and didn't exactly know how I was going to make that happen or what it would look like or whatever but the idea was there and it was seated so um that's what i've been um planning off of and operating off of right i'm gonna show you some gems that i found that i purchased in 2018 and didn't even get to put to use until now but that's how i do especially when it comes to things like that anyway um and so i wanted to there was hardly any black representation out there for homesteaders or tiny house livers or any of the sorts or anybody living off grid there wasn't a lot that this next to nil where african-american representation was and i wanted to see it i wanted to see what it's like you know because a lot of things affect your ability to be able to do this you know um <laughs> money your life how you grew up um what you are used to what you can withstand um I'm going to tell you this, the hardship I've been through throughout my life <laughs> has enabled me to be able to cope with a lot of things I've been dealing with. You know, I don't like the bugs regardless. I don't care what the situation is. <laughs> but um, it's been a little less taxing on my mind 
uh, heart and soul and my nerves because of some things that I've um, experienced in my lifetime. Right? Okay. This is the other cayenne pepper I was talking about, the ones I'm going to use to make like hot sauce. And I know they're hot, so they may possibly be a part of my um, products also. But just so you know, um, they are two different variations. This kind is one kind of cayenne, that one is a different kind of cayenne, but they are both cayenne. And I'm sorry, y'all. I would say I'm going to go out there and look at the little, so I'm not, I'm not digging in that. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I, I'm, I, I don't I don't mess with my comfort zone okay there's another one in here this is mint fresh mint and it smells good and it's gonna make me some lemon mint water but you can do a whole bunch of other things with peppermint and I know y'all know it's gonna be all up in my product but it'll also um, serve a lot of purpose in the kitchen um, and you get creative with it I mean go to Pinterest it's a lot of stuff on Pinterest you know a lot of people tell me I'm creative, but I also have to search um, and come up with things. So what I think it is, is just I come in contact with things that they have not yet experienced. And because they've never seen it, it's like, girl, you're so creative. I wish, but I can't take the credit for all the stuff. Okay. Um, this is basil. And I got two different kinds. I got Genovese and I got um, Italian. Got two different kinds. So, hold on. Um, I just got them all together. Um, but the Genovese looks more around oh, the other pepper you see mm -hmm. um, there, <laughs> there were only two of those on that tree I was kind of looking for a whole bunch more but you know like I said um, the longer we are here the more I can do I kind of just try to do stuff together try to throw a bed together try to get some kind of growing space and then I tried to put as much as I could in that little growing space knowing I needed more and I know what it is and right now my cucumbers and my squash uh, you know, bully and everything else, but I know how to make it do what it do with them too. I know now that I can cut back some of them doggone vines. If y'all want to keep reaching out, I'ma snap you back. So I know what to do. Um, and keep working with me. I jump around, but if you stay and listen to the whole thing, I come full circle. So if I started talking about something and then just drip it to something else, somewhere in here, I'm gonna complete it. Okay. Um, if I don't, just leave me a note. But nine times out of ten, you won't have to do that. Uh, so the Genovese leaves are rounder. All right and let me see if i can find and the italian leaves look like this you see let me see what pointy more wrinkly um and the leaves grow upwards instead of downwards around but i'm gonna blend both of them together <laughs> they both smell good <laughs> they both are basil and whether or not they have a different um flavor uh i don't know there's a reason for the variation, so I'll find out. How about that? Um, so all of this is basil that I'm pulling out because I don't know what I'm going to do with what I cut today. But I'm, oh God, this smells so good. But I'm going to use it. That's mint. I'm going to use it. Do the same. You're putting everything in the same basket together. How you gonna know what's what? I said, this is the smell of leaves. Rub a leaf and smell it. It'll tell you. It will reveal itself to you. Yes, honey. I like the smell of the Genovese better. And for what it's worth, I use Genovese more. I very hard. I very rarely go in search of any other type of um, basil except for the Genovese. So. But I'm going to blend these in because I grew it. I'm going to be, yeah, I'm not going to mess with that compost. Okay. Um, so this is what I did. I got some, I got some peppermint. I got some of these cayenne peppers. I got some green beans. Don't get me to lying to you about whether they were pole or bush. Because you know what I did? I just took them out their little seedling cup. And I planted them, and I didn't pay attention to which one is which, because a bean is going to be a bean is going to be a bean. And I'm going to eat them just the same. Um, but So these could be pole beans or bush beans. And I'll look it up just so I can try to figure it out myself. But I don't know the difference between the two in order to point it out to you. So pole bean or bush beans, it's beans. It's a green bean, because both of them come out the same color. 
later on down the line when I grow up in this game, I'll have other cons, okay? Because I like trying other things too. Once upon a time I didn't, but I do now. And um, also, I want to be able to have that variation. When I get to the level that I'm trying to get to where I can share on the level that I want to share on, I want to be able to have a good variety going for myself. Um, and then that's the basil, and then these are the other ones, the other cayenne peppers. And of course, this is the green pepper. Now, it's a pretty hot day, so I'm not gonna challenge Dula to taste one of those for me. I know those are hot. I just wouldn't those doing all those. But I don't wanna be the one to do that. So I'm gonna ask him to, but maybe when it cool down a little bit. Um, Look at my little makeshift kitchen up in here, y'all, while we working. I know I don't let nobody see what's going on back here, so you make a okay? <laughs> but I needed a workspace. <laughs> and um, because we have to have inner plumbing and electrical wiring done, I can't do nothing with these walls yet. But um, we are going to insulate it soon. Um, we can't do that because they can move that around. What we don't want them to do is break down walls that we don't already put up because... Uh, why 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 do that just just this why so um it just gives me some place to work but off-grid living so if you want a glimpse of it boo -boo. okay keep lots of that living on land like this eh? 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 every corner <laughs> lots of that um but at the end of the day this is where my kitchen sink will be and you see it faces the front porch, which is nice. Out there you see a lemon tree and a guava tree. Guava not doing so well, but if you see them buckets, you see that I put some buckets so I can transfer them. Put them in something bigger and better, better dirt, better food, everything, and then get them all over there. And then from here, I can see the garden, but when it expand, when the garden expands over to this way, I'm gonna be able to look and see it without having to stretch my neck. Me and the breeze is nice right here. We are up under the trees. So you see all that sun out there? We are not affected by all that heat over here. That's the beauty of the spot and the location of this house, okay? Um, I wish the window, I wish the, the door had windows you could open because that's the only thing blocking flow. Uh, so from the front door though, you can see, I can see the garden, I can see onto the porch, blah, 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 blah. Once it's all beautified, it'll be, you know. And then from here, which equates to my living room window, um, you can see it. So it's a nice view. If you are sitting in a chair about right here at Cattle Corner, you'll be able to see um, out there too. We can also see approaching people, um, but it's a long driveway to come down, so, you know. Um, and then over here is where we're gonna be putting that shed. So in another video, we walked around here you remember that? The water pump, blah, blah, blah. Well, another shed is going to go right there. Just a little small one to house that stuff. Or house something. Because I done found a book with treasures. Now, let me show you this book. So I'm going to show you all up here because I'm trying to keep everything down there for later. So it's a reveal. But look. So I finally went and bought some of my stuff from storage here. And of course, my books I got to grab. I bought these books in 2018. Top of 2018, let me see. Oh no, that one even says December, uh, this 2017. I told you when I had the idea about having a tiny home or doing a homestead, the first thing I start doing is researching. Anything I have an idea on, I, I start researching it. So I have a bunch of other books and things too, but these three are what I'm about to work out of. Um, this is the backyard homestead for people who have small space. Look at it good. You should get you one. Okay. Um, this is a planner so it helps you when you don't know what to do and where to start and what to do first and what you know when you don't know what you don't know about what you don't know okay um, and so and it helps you and it breaks it down by season so I just pulled it out I'm gonna go over here but I'm gonna be focusing over here because I'm already in this I think anything I was supposed to start doing over here I gotta read the book but I'm just assuming right now anything I'm supposed to be doing over here I probably should have been easing into from over here now I'm here I'm gonna focus on this I'm still gonna do stuff from here and then I'll know it also for next year but I'm going to be focusing on this so I can have a very productive and successful fall okay and then this Lord of mercy I have y'all know I paid for some program 
um, that gave me um, the specs for sheds of any size um, and a whole bunch of other woodwork pro um, projects and whatnot that I plan on doing and building around the homestead and inside the house. And then <laughs> forgot that I had this book. It's okay. I got it now. And when I say, like, look at this, just the stuff. No, that's not what I need to do. That's too much. Let me tell you. Let me just go here, okay? Here. All the different things to do for the garden, harvesting and preparing my food, storage and workspace. It ain't got no little itty bitty stuff in here. I'm talking about root cellars and everything is up in this bad boy, okay? Um, we got a lot of space. We just got to edge out into that space. And when we do, I'll be able to place a lot of this stuff out there because we'll be moving back um, and clearing the way for us to be able to have these things. Um, the animals, we don't eat meat, so, but, you know, eggs give chicken, uh, chicken gives eggs, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence about this vegan thing, I tell you, because, we'll see. Right now, I eat eggs, milk, and cheese, but I don't want to carry a whole cow for the sake of some milk, and aside from that, we got off of cow milk, so, that's almonds and stuff, of which I can still do if I, um, you want to grow a tree and grow some almonds otherwise I could just buy the almonds and make the milk or I could just buy the almond milk um, and we do coconut milk from time especially in my cooking and then for the house and the yard I move around for my new <laughs> my new subscribers are people I know anyway y'all already know I talk a lot and I jump all over the place but for people who don't know me I talk a lot and I jump all over the place. But I tend to come full circle. Okay, so that's that. So, let me show you the front of this book. This one is um, a bunch of building projects. And it's 76 um, projects in here you can work on. Chicken coops, rabbit um, housing, um, animal housing, uh, tools, um, storage, benches, um, stuff for ponds. All kinds of stuff is here. Um, the planner just helps you know what to do and when to do it. It's just a good start. If you know of some other ones, by all means, shoot them in the comments. I'll uh, check them out um, and probably have them on my shelf. Um, and I know what I'm going to do about that because I love shopping and buying books and things. And we live in smaller space, so we'll work that out. I'm going to have to have a shed for my things. Okay, anyway, and then this is um, actually about building a homestead on a quarter acre of land. Because it can be done. I'm trying to tell y'all, you could do a lot even on a back patio, living on a, with a balcony on the 50th floor. You still can do a lot. So, trust me, you can do a lot with a quarter acre. Or an eighth of an acre. A patio that sticks out four by four. <laughs> I'm not lying. It sounds funny, but it's true. Okay, this is, yeah, from a quarter of an acre you can harvest, and then it tells you these things. You see? Okay? So, go out there, go look it up. Um, I got it from Amazon, but you know. Um, and you can also download it instead of having a physical book, but I like physical books because I like to be able to go back to it. I most especially like the bound of this book because when I open up something to do, it stays where I need it to stay and I can look at it and do what I have to. And they leave room for you to make not, uh, notes and things, but look at this stuff. All right, sister calling, gotta go. Thanks for watching, till next time.